Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some more Star Wars Battlefront 2 news, both good and bad. But first of all, I'm now back from Gamescom and it feels good to be home, I've been traveling quite a lot this summer, but now I will be getting back more into the normal schedule with more live streams and so on. And just as a heads up, my Battlefield 5 gameplay of Rotterdam that I was able to capture at Gamescom will be going up on my channel this Monday. So make sure to stay tuned for that as I'm going to share all my thoughts about the game so far and, and what I thought about the Rotterdam map and so on. I haven't really shared my thoughts on Battlefield 5 yet except for in my streams. So if you're interested, uh, well, look out for the video on Monday. But now let's get into the actual news. Let's start off with the bad news and then move over to the good news. So the bad news is the Droidica. I mean, most of you have probably seen it by now, but... Yeah, we are not getting droidicas anytime soon. Initially, they went out and said, no, it's not a droidica. And then later, now they actually confirmed that it was. So the full explanation is as follows. Basically, when that screenshot came out, they didn't intentionally have a droidica in there and they have no plans to make a droidica, which is why they instantly went out and said, no, it's not a droidica. But then when they actually started looking into it, because you can boot up the scenes uh, that you made a screenshot in in the Frostbite engine to look at what's actually in the scene. So this was not actually painted art, but it was a Frostbite scene. So they booted it up and in there found a old unused asset of a Droidica. Basically a 3D model with no animations, no rigging, no hitbox, anything like that. So think of it as, a, I guess, a clay figure that you can't do anything with, almost like that. So they didn't have any plans to make a Droidica which is why they didn't understand why it was in there and all the communication could have been better in that way they shouldn't have gone out and instantly said no but they should have investigated and then come out with the answer that they came with yesterday i still put the most of the blame here to whoever at dice thought it was a good idea to put a droidica in there and a lot of you might be wondering why didn't they catch this in the approval process and to be honest it took the community of thousands of people more than an hour to find that droidica, or at least around an hour, I think, because I didn't see it, and I saw an initial tweet popping out like 30 minutes later, and I was like, that doesn't really look like a droidica, and it wasn't until someone find, found the HD version and kind of clarified it that it become 100% clear that it was a droidica. So it feels like someone put it there, and he made it small enough that you will not find it in the review process if there's I don't know two or three people looking through I'm honestly not sure but big enough that you can still clearly make out that it is a droidica if you zoom in on the HD version so that to me almost sounds like sabotage I mean it could have been an old scene it could just have been unlucky but it's just the perfect size to not be spotted initially but be spotted by thousands of people because like I said I did not see the droidica until someone zoomed in on that HD image so it's just such a bad thing to happen in this community. That's the last thing we need considering how rough of a state this community is already in. To get something like this that builds up the hope. Oh, maybe they're teasing droidicas when we've already gotten those teases from uh, Dennis earlier in the year. And then just comes down and says, no, that was a mistake. No droidicas are coming. It's just such a huge slap in the face and it's really a shame. But yeah, I really hope they put on a full on investigation for whoever made that screenshot to make sure that it has never happened again. And that if it was an intentional troll or sabotage, that person should not be working at DICE anymore. Because it's just the, really the last thing the community really needs right now. And honestly, like I said on Twitter yesterday, I could go on and discuss about the droidica issue for a long time. But... There's not really any point, it's just another fail for Battlefront 2, another thing that the community would be annoyed with, and just lingering and talking more about it doesn't benefit anyone really. But now you know at least what happened, so let's move on to the actual good news, because there are some. Ben did post a little bit about the future, both on Discord and out on uh, Twitter, and the first win thing being that he's working on three different community transmissions right now one for the squad system one for hero health cards and one for matchmaking so this is good news because he does confirm on a twitter in a separate message that they are working on health star cards for the heroes something that a lot of people have been requested including myself because some of them such as han solo are just so bad in galactic assault because they can't heal up at all so that means that we are indeed getting a bunch of new hero health cards and this community transmission will detail those so i'm curious please let me know in the comments below which heroes do you want to see new health star cards on and which ones do you not want to see new health star cards on and the squad system community transmission is almost finished he said it was going to finish that during the weekend now and then send it out for approval through the normal system which unfortunately seems to take a couple of weeks 
because the Lucasfilm and EA are very slow to say the least at approving those community transmissions, that's for sure. And lastly, he did also say that the roadmap update that comes next week does include something new and that he thinks it's really cool, but don't let the emotions run ahead. So don't hype anything up, don't be like, oh my god, we're getting five new planets in the roadmap update. So if I'm gonna be realistic and honest, I mean, it could be anything from one new skin to one new weapon or something like that. I mean, I really hope it's something more and something that will actually be a positive surprise in the community because we haven't gotten a lot of those or any of those since EA Play, really. So if it would be something really cool, like a Wii vehicle that's, oh, you're getting a massive ATTE or something like that, I think that could be something that will give the community a little bit of hope because they're adding stuff that was not previously on the roadmap. But again, I'm not gonna hype anything, I'm just gonna wait and see what we get. And once we get the roadmap update, I will give you the full breakdown, the new stuff, the old stuff, what has been moved forward, what has been moved back, and so on. But yeah, that was all for this video. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.